Hi beautiful people, welcome back to A Beautiful Life. So in today's video, I will be telling you about my experience seeing Get Back, the rooftop concert in IMAX. Um, as I'm filming this, I just saw it today. I just came back um, from seeing it, so I will be telling you all about that. So let's get started. So I saw this movie in one of three theaters showing it in Pennsylvania. Um, I went to the one in King of Prussia, which is actually about a 90 minute drive or so from, from my house. Um, so it was a little bit of a drive, but we combined it with some, some shopping in that area and stuff. And uh, this particular showing was sold out. I, I got the tickets the day they were announced and I picked uh, the seats in the very top row. I usually like to sit there when I see a movie anyway, um, but the theater itself was really nice. Like the seats were super cushiony and I did um, get some popcorn as well to have. So um, before the movie, they did have some pictures showing on the screen, I you know, from the get back uh, you know, photos from the sessions and, and stuff, like the ones found in the Get Back book. And um, at one point they did have a QR code on the screen and you could scan it with your phone and it would took you to a website where you could submit a question for actually Peter Jackson because before the screening they had a live Q&A uh, with, with him. And um, those questions that were given to him were, were all submitted by people who were at the screenings in the UK and the US. And the person conducting the interview was actually at um, a theater in London that was about to show the screening. And something really cool about this experience was that all the screenings were happening at the same time, you know, across the time zones. Um, we were all watching it at the same time. And something interesting that uh, Peter Jackson pointed out was that the for this IMAX showing, they had to create a whole new sound mix. And uh, he said the only place he was able to go to, to do that was actually in um, Twickenham. So that was, he said that was like a really full circle moment. And he actually said that he was uh, pretty jealous of everyone who was seeing this, this screening because he said um, he doesn't have an opportunity to actually see it in IMAX. So he said he, he may never see this as, as we were about to see it. So when the uh, showing itself started, it began with the same kind of historical uh, segment that was at the beginning of Get Back, um, you know, going through the from when the Beatles met up to, you know, that, that point. And then, of course, it got right into the rooftop concert portion. And I have to say, all the songs sounded so amazing. Um, and to see, you know, them on that giant screen was so cool, too, because this was my first time seeing the Beatles um, actually in a movie theater, you know, on the big screen, because I had missed out on, you know, Yellow Submarine's return to theaters and things like that that have happened over the past few years. So this was my first time seeing them on the big screen. And this screen was very big because it was IMAX, so it was very very much uh, larger than life. And yeah, all the songs really sounded great and with those, you know, sound uh, sound capabilities of IMAX. And I think I said this in my uh, video about Get Back, but I definitely think I've gained a new appreciation for this time period of the Beatles. And I think this was a, a good idea to bring this to, to theaters because I think um, even if you're only a casual fan of the Beatles, it's something you can, can enjoy because it's not so much like Get Back where you're just watching them you know watching them working or sitting around and talking you, you know you're watching a concert film so it's a little more um engaging i guess not to mention it has that historical thing from get back at the beginning too so even if you didn't know much at all about the beatles you could um kind of get some context as to what you're about to watch so yes overall i i really really enjoyed watching this and i'm very excited that we've uh, recently been told it's getting a global theatrical release too um i think February 11th to the 13th is when that'll be out. So I'll definitely be going to see this again. I'm not sure if that's in like regular theaters or if that's in IMAX again. I, it might be regular, but either way, I'll be going. So after this showing, we actually did get um, a couple little little goodies. So I will be showing you those. So the first one is this lanyard. So on this part here, it has, of course, the same picture that we saw on social media promoting this, this showing. This is hard to show when I'm, when I have to hold my phone up with one hand like this, but it says the Beatles get back the rooftop concert. And you could actually un unclip this from here so you could use this lanyard for something else if you wanted. But I think I will be putting this right over there with all of my Paul lanyards. And then another thing we got is this little card, um, which has the Let It Be album cover on the front. And on the other side, it's just promoting the 
um, special edition of Let It Be, and it has a QR code on the other side that you scan and it takes you to the Beatles online store and it has a little discount code written here for 10% off the store, so that's cool. And then last but not least, we did get these posters of that same promotional photo that was on social media. These are a lot bigger than I expected because I think it was advertised as being like a mini poster, but so I was imagining something, you know, a lot smaller, but this is a very good size. So yes, again, I really enjoy going to see this. Um, it was so cool to, to watch this on, on the big screen, literally a very, a very big screen. Um, and to experience that with other fans was really cool. At the end of the movie, everybody clapped, so that was cool. And it was, um, like I said, really neat that it was being shown simultaneously across all those different theaters. And pretty soon we'll be getting Get Back itself on uh, DVD and Blu-ray. So I'll be doing a video on that DVD when mine gets here. But uh, that is going to do it for today's video. So I do want to say thank you very much for watching. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this. And um, I'll leave my social media in the description so you can check those out as well. And as always, have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye.